So I got this 2000, uh, I think it's 14 uh, ZR120 for the kids. It's a nice, nice for the kids engines, and it works okay. The problem is the chain. It's got chain drive on this thing. It is just garbage. I mean, it wears out. I don't get a season. I got to change the sprocket down there. See the sprocket, and you got to buy the whole thing. It's not that big of an expense, but it's. I don't know. I was thinking there got to be a better way. So I was going to try and convert it over to a cogged belt. So I'm going to pull the pulleys off. I got a cogged belt, pulleys. Kind of had a friend manufacture a way to take the other sprocket off and put this one on there. Um, don't know exactly how he did it. <laughs> don't want to know. He's got a lathe and the, and the skill. I don't. So uh, I'm going to put it on, see how it works. Hopefully the gearing's not too high. Stock, stock gear off, just undo the bolt, pull it off. It's got a three-quarter shaft. So I got this pulley. It uses a QT, QT style bushing, taper lock. So you put that on there and uh, tighten it up. So you remove the front sprocket, pretty painless. Slides off. All goes well. This one should just fit right on there. Bolt on on the sprocket. It just uh, bolts right on. And then uh, I modified the front. All I did on the spring on the tensioner was uh, I bent it so it's a little bit stronger. I'll probably have to get a stronger one. I tried a, one of those muffler springs. It's almost that size, but it wouldn't work. So there's the belt. I have no clue if it's going to work. That's how us non-engineers do it. We just try and see. <laughs> Failure. I guess it works, huh? Okay. Thanks. So I got it all mounted on there. I just took it for a test drive with you know, 200 pound fat guy on there and it drives around good, didn't slip. Pretty happy with it. Um, I'll put it to the test, have the granddaughter test it. Now I'm not looking for speed here, I just want something that'll last quiet. That chain was just making me crazy and I thought there had to be a better way. We'll see. I'm going to take it to the cabin and uh, if it makes it that far, I'll call it good and then I'll probably post this video. So here we go. So I just want to show you, I put the guard back on, uh, I had to space it out a little bit. The taper lock is sticking out quite a bit. I think you can buy a different style taper lock, the kind that goes inside and you use Allen wrenches. I worked in the gravel pit industry and we hated that kind because they were harder than these. So I should have bought that kind probably. I don't even know if they're available. And this gear is like cast steel. I'm sure they make a, something aluminum, you know, be a lot lighter, drill holes. But just kind of a test and... That's why I have what I have, and uh, see what happens. Here we go with a new belt drive. Guess we're testing it with two kids. I guess it works. <laughs> 